Hey everybody, it's Big Old Bill here. Today, we're making pig shots. Follow along so you can make them too. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start out with our block of cream cheese. We're gonna take a ranch seasoning pack. We're just gonna dump the whole thing into the bowl and mix that cream cheese right up so that way we have one nice smooth consistency for the inside of our pig shot. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature or warmer. It will just make the whole process much easier. All right, so we're just gonna keep mixing. We're using a fork here. We're just gonna keep mixing it up until we have that nice unison texture where the cream cheese and the ranch seasoning has mixed together and there's no giant pockets of ranch seasoning and there's no pockets of unseasoned cream cheese. It'll look pretty much just like this. I'd like to welcome back our returning star of the show, George. He's really wanting one of these sausages on the table here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these sausages, uh, we're gonna cut them into about inch to a little bit less than an inch thick pieces. Uh, cut the ends off, because we're not really gonna use those. We want nice flat pieces. We're gonna save those end pieces and eat them later. But we just wanna cut the whole sausage. You can do as many as you need for however much bacon you're going to use for these pig shots. Remember when you're wiping them off the board, don't throw them off the board like I did. Try and keep them on your board. So once again, this is what they're going to look like once you have them cut. About an inch to a little bit less than an inch thick. Let's get to the next step. All right, so all I did here is I took a whole pound of bacon and I cut it right in half. So that way it's easier to wrap around our little piece of sausage. We're gonna take one piece of sausage. We're gonna start, wrap the bacon right around so that way we have full coverage around all sides of the inch thick sausage. Another returning guest, Bina in the background. Okay, once you have your bacon wrapped around the sausage, you're gonna take a toothpick, push it through so that way it goes through both sides and all of the bacon. When you're finished, you'll have a nice little cup and you can see now why they're called pig shots. They look just like a shot glass. Okay, let's do a few more and let's move on to the next step. All right, so here's where the fun begins. So look at these, these look like perfect little shot glasses. We took uh, we took our cream cheese and we put it into a piping bag. It'll make the process much, much easier. So what you're gonna do is you're going to squeeze your cream cheese into the pig shot and it'll fill that glass right up. Having the piping bag also adds for a little bit of extra presentation if you're doing this for friends and family. Okay, you're just gonna fill them right up so that way they're coming just over the top of the bacon. Nice smooth movements. And there you go. Pig shots almost finished. Look at those beautiful pig shots. Let's take these to the smoker. 
All right, we're gonna throw these pig shots right here onto our smoker at about 275 degrees. We'll come back when the bacon's nice and cooked and the color's just right. We've already thrown a few on there. I'll throw that bad boy on. After about an hour and a half to two hours, our pig shots are finished. We're taking these off the smoker and they're looking and smelling amazing. I wish you guys could be here so you could experience it as well. And here's our pig shot. Now don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with what we do each week. We'll see you next week. Maybe that's good.